Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I've got a cool video in Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams recently came out with meeting backgrounds, but they're already pre-populated. You cannot add your own meeting background. They're working on adding your own, but in the meantime, here is my workaround for how you can put your own background in a Microsoft Teams meeting. So I'm in Teams. I'm on a channel called Webinars. I just picked one. Just to show you the default here, I'm going to start a meeting. Meet now. Meet now. Camera should turn on. There we go. Hey, here I am. Don't need the mute. Don't need the audio. So down here at the bottom is more actions. Here's background effects. Here are the ones that are already set up for me. Here are the ones that are already set up for me. Background effects. So if I pick one, I can hit apply. There's my background. What I want to point out is when I scroll all the way to the bottom, these are already set up. So I can't change them by default. They're working on that. But let me show what you can do in the meantime to get your own background. So let me go back to none. Back to normal. Close. I'm going to turn off this meeting real quick. So here we go. I already have everything running to do this. All right. So go ahead and find the backgrounds that you want. Over here to the right hand side, I downloaded some images and I made them pretty small, meaning I made them about 12, 1920 is the width. Some of them are 2,200, no big deal but they were 6,000 by 4,000 as an example, and I resized them. So you just don't want them too large anyway. Up here at the top in Notepad, the first one is for Windows or PC users, which I'm gonna do. The second item down here, Users, Username, this is for the Mac. I can't test this because I don't have a Mac. But here I go. I'm gonna highlight this data right here, this information, copy it. I'm going to hit the Windows key and then I'm just going to paste it in there and press enter and it pulls up this folder that I already have running down below here. If you notice, Teams, Backgrounds, Uploads, Teams, Backgrounds, Uploads. You don't need to know this, but if you just jump back to Backgrounds, here are the backgrounds that you just saw a second ago. So I'm in the Uploads folder. I'm going to take all four of these images and just drag them and drop them. So now when I have a Teams meeting, I should be able to pick my own background. So let's see if that's true. Teams, meet now, meet now, okay, let's go and see if this works. I should have four images that I didn't have before. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and sure enough, that is the city of Atlanta. This is the city of, yep, that's Atlanta. This is the city of Atlanta, that's the Potts City Market. One more. That is Atlanta. Oh, I need to flip that image because the Georgia Pacific building is going the wrong way. But it still worked. And there's the city of Atlanta too. So that is how you add your own images to Microsoft Teams right now until they get it worked out where it's an easier way to do it. We pull that back up again. We stop this meeting. notepad so before you even start your meeting go find your images first i recommend you resize them if you're a windows user or a pc user it's the top one if you're a mac user it's the bottom one i haven't tested the mac i don't have a mac after you upload the images there you should see them in microsoft teams i appreciate your time microsoft teams has a lot of features rolling out so please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm actually going to end up making a Teams um, support center page on my personal website. 
which I'll put a link for at the bottom. Have a great day. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.